Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. Yes, I think probably with this series we are going to be ending it in maybe five or so episodes. So if you are enjoying it, do thumbs it up. I mean, we're pretty much at the point now where hopefully by the end we will have taken Baradur, which would be great. Um, and we will have, well, we obviously have taken Dolgador, and Dolgador will be pretty much, hopefully, on its last legs by the time we get right to the end. So we can't actually get any of those guys in there. I wonder whether, oh yeah, there was the uh, the bridge battle that we could do. Uh, we can't actually leave Bursalfis, though. That's that's the main issue. <laughs> Uh, Tostore is still under siege. Let's see. Can we send any garrison men? Oh, Dorthalu is under siege now as well. And Varfest will be at some point too. Uh, so Vine, Vice Regent, Vine Regent Harwin. What we're going to do, we're going to send you, we're going to have to send you south because we might lose Dorthalu and Varfest here, which isn't great. And you don't have very good uh, movement speed, do you, my friend? Um, so that's unfortunate. Over here in Baradur, we did lose Athel here last time, of course. So we are going to rename Cargacore as Athel here's rest. So uh, let's get that done. Athel, I think this is how you uh, spell it. So Mordor has been the land of death for us, really. Um, so we've got Avalyn's rest and Athel here's rest, which is very unfortunate, but. It's Mordor. What do you expect? <laughs> it is the land of death, really, for everyone that's not an orc or a white or anything like that. So uh, let's press the end turn. I don't believe there's anything we need to do unless there's any building that needs doing. Definitely not. So let's press the end turn. And we we are we can't recruit enough to keep our income in check at the at this point. We are just making so much money. Um, there was just like one turn where income just went mental. And I can't, I don't know how or why that happened. But it just did. Like, it, we went from do, making like 12,000 a turn and spending it all to like suddenly 20 odd thousand. And I don't know where that came from. But I'm not complaining. It's good to have a lot of money in the bank, isn't it? <laughs> I might even try and. Oh, they're going for Logarth. I mean, that's pointless, man. Why would you do that? We need to go and kill them. Hopefully, they will leave it for like one or two turns. Normally, the AI in Medieval 2 won't siege after the first turn. It's normally the second turn if they think they're hard enough. So, yeah. Merchant's Guild in Bursalfis. I mean, we'll take it. But Bursalfis is an unhappy place right now. Rioting in Logarth itself, which at this point doesn't matter <laughs> because they are sieging it down. Yes. So... If we were to leave, I'd probably leave one of the crossbowmen, and they will make it uh, fine. Let's also stick a watchtower in there as well. Nice. Uh, recruitment report. Let's have a look at what we've got. Strondost. We've got some Avari Shadows. Oh, we've also got a guy in here as well. Odegavia. Because we do need to send a general down. Are we recruiting anyone else? No. So I think it's time for Odegavia. To come all the way to Avalon's Rest again. The movement speed, man. I wish they were just a little bit more, you know? Like, it's so... It takes so long to get anywhere uh, in this mod. No way the great. Let's get you in there. And let's retrain as many of these boys as we can. And we'll also get all of these guys, as many as we can, in there. Okay, not all of you. We'll stick you elves up there for now. Uh, and then Vine Regent Harwin. Like I say, let's go Logarth uh, Dorfalu first. I don't think there is a militia barracks here. So, yeah, it's very likely that we will lose Dorfalu. We're just in Dolgador just trying to <laughs> trying to defend it. We did get some militia barrack now as well, so we've got extra defenses. But honestly, after that first defense there, I don't think we need... Like, <laughs> much more defense. They did abandon to Sture, which is great. Um, yeah, good. And then down in the far south at Athel Here's Rest, we are just gathering another army. The Gathering Storm has come, and uh, they've kind of ruined us, really, haven't they? So let's gather another army together, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good army. 
got this guy. You're going to come down to there. Honestly, I kind of want peace with Dolgador for now. Just for, like, a little bit. Like, but we can only get diplomats, like, all the way over here. So, let's get one at Karasant. And we'll send him out, of course. Uh, to Store. Yeah, I mean, Dolgador... They're not very strong. They're just really annoying. Like, these these little armies and, and Mordor... Okay, Mordor has left Varfest. Which is great. Vanderkind. What? I don't remember these guys. Honestly, where, where have these guys come from? Oh, uh, I think Mornithel, right? I can't remember, but maybe Mornithel? That's all right, though. I don't mind that. I... Oh, we uh, we train them all. We train them all in, like, one turn to try and stop um, Dol uh, Mordor from attacking. It looks like it's worked. So, do you know what we should probably do is leave Varfest and go up to Dorfalu to try and relieve it. Uh, that would be a good idea. Right, let's do our building. So, Mornithel got the Royal Hall. Let's go for the Avari Armory then. Now we can get the Moriquendi there as well. Bur Emerikis. Let's go for those farms. Uh, Wintirian Yar. Got the roads. Let's go for the shipwright. Just get the most expensive, best buildings we can. Mataram's upgrading. Good. Bur Alga. Not much we can really get here. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the garrison. We might as well. While we're there. It's actually had a lot of buildings in Bur Alga from uh, either Dale or Dolgador. Austin Eri. Let's go for the herbalist, I think. Get some more population growth. We're just trying to grow all these places. Dolgador Military Garrison, of course, will get the uh, standing stones. But South has got the standing stones. I don't think it's too bad here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's go for the tomb, though. And uh, Logarth got the slave pit. Uh, done. And Rubar's actually ready to upgrade now. So let's uh, put that in. Ready to upgrade to a city. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. It's not that easy to upgrade to cities in this uh, in this mod, so that's quite good. Oh, we can get a diplomat here. Let's get that there, and let's caram cancel caram cancel the one at Karasant. Let's also get another cavalry, and in here nothing to build in Strondos. Anyone to recruit in Santamwe? No, I very much doubt it. With all this retraining that's going to happen, <laughs> yes. so yeah, you're on the way though. I kind of don't want you to take the Black Gate. I wanted Norway to do that, but oh well. We, uh, we shall see. No way the great, should we say. Got the spy coming down here. Let's have a look at what's going on. But yeah, it's been a fun campaign. And it was very difficult at the start. But then as soon as Rune is out of the way, it's kind of just a cakewalk really, isn't it? But I do find that with Divide and Conquer a lot is, uh, you know, the the early game is, is really where the, the challenge lies. And then after that, it, it gets... Con uh, a bit easier. Right, well, uh, we'll do this battle because if we auto-resolve, there's a likelihood we'll lose. So let's do the battle. Let's get on the battlefield. And it should be a very quick one. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. So let's start the deployment. And they are just coming with that ladder. So, I mean, we'll probably stick you boys in shield wall. And then we'll stick the other ones around that are not in shield wall. Not in a shield wall, just a normal formation. And, of course, we'll have the hunters behind because they're the general. And they can also throw their jabbies if they want. If they will fit. Okay, there. Just about. Just about. So let's start the battle. And it's very likely that the ram will get destroyed anyway if these guys can aim. Which they can't. Obviously. Don't even think they've hit it once yet. Shoot the ram, guys. Shoot the ram. I kind of want the, them to come in, though. I'd rather the ram come in and us win the battle rather than anything else. So what is that? They're just scouts. So once they get into melee, they won't be a problem. I mean, I don't think anyone's actually firing their jabbies right now. But once they get in, they should be able to start firing. So we'll keep it on time six speed. Just speed through it. Because all it is is a grind fest. And there's nothing we can do to change the results, really, tactics-wise. <laughs> now we can actually fire the jabbies. Guys, what the fuck? Stop pushing out of the city, bro. But anyway, if they get killed, it's fine. 
Like, what idiots? Why would you push through the gates? Defend the gates, you fucking morons. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. Like, why? I mean, they might win this thing all by themselves. Which is fair enough if they do. But we will win anyway, looking at the, uh, looking at the, uh, results. You know, we killed... What the fuck, man? Why are you doing this? You idiots. Get there. Jeez. Come on, guys. Stop being so dumb. Like, you could lose this battle for us if you keep doing that, man. So they just want to go out the gates. Even with guard mode on. They're just trying to fight this one guy. The two left. Go on, then. Oh, they're hard as fuck. They're just, they're like guards either side of the gate. Yeah, there's a couple of jabbies coming in, but it's not many. This guy, this guy, this guy is so strong, man. He's staying there. They've gone, they've gone. Right, now we'll come out of the gates. Get guard mode off now. Kill the scouts. Yeah, we'll shred them. We'll absolutely shred them. And hopefully we kill enough. Oh, it's over 85% already. So we will have destroyed this army in its entirety. Very nice. That's what we like to see. And we only lost like three of the Rovanian hunters. I don't know how we lost them, but we did. Maybe they threw some javis at us at some point. I guess they did. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, they, they, fair play on the morale of those boys. They stayed around. We killed a lot. But anyway, wow, that artwork's really good, isn't it? But let's uh, get back onto the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, of course, I mean, we're going to execute the singular orc we captured. <laughs> are they going for that? They're genuinely going for that fight. Uh, well, obviously, we're going to lose. And I don't see the point of playing that. I mean, apparently, we killed zero people, which is a bit annoying, but... Whatever. I mean, we're just going to go and siege that down with Edward in now. Oh, god damn. Come on. This is this is the annoying thing dealing with Dolgador. They have so many little tiny shitty stacks of like two men. Like, stop. <laughs> Fight me like a man. God damn it. <laughs> I know. Well, shouldn't really say that, but yeah. Come on. Fight me like an orc, okay? Fight me like an orc. Like a true orc. Right, Harkind will accept you. You are in Dolgador as well. Fantastic. That's excellent. And uh, I would love you to come and try and take Dolgador again. It's very weird that they're going, like, after sieging all this shit down. When they've literally lost their, their most important settlement by far. And how many turns? Six turns. I am not going to actually siege. I am not actually going to take that battle. It'll be too brutal. We'd probably lose. Uh, doing that. But we can skip over Logarth then. Let's go straight for this one. And we can also skip over Varfest, can't we? Because we're on the way up. Right, let's... Uh, this little army... Let's go to like one of the crossings over here. And I think we just sit on the crossing. And just stop them from trying to go for Varfest. Take the Rovanian Riders. Because we've got a couple of Thorn Guard. We've got a couple of Archers. Honestly, don't think that's too bad an idea. So let's do that. Uh, Avalon's Rest. Oh, we got Avari in Avalon's Rest now as well. Oh, fantastic. We got a diplomat in Dolgador. So, but now they've taken Logarth. <laughs> I don't. I don't really want peace with them because our lands are not connected, and also they have Logarth. So I guess we don't go for peace with them. But we can use you as a bit of a scout. Have a look around. Maybe a spy would be good in Dolgador as well. We can't get a spy. Unfortunate. But anyway. See, construction-wise, we don't want to go through that just yet. Strondost is now ready to upgrade. Fantastic. Let's go for that. That's why we can't get the mega level of the uh, of the thing. And uh, yeah, let's do the construction then. Santan, we got the Mason's Guildhouse. Let's go for the mines in Santan, we probably. Uh, or even the way station. Yeah, go for the way station and then we'll get the winery. Oh, 
I don't know where the cursor went then. Naburka sheep farming. Let's go for the grain exchange. Get a bit of extra cash. It's starting to make good money now, Naburka. Carverad. Let's go for the herbalist. Get a bit more population growth. Mistrand got the warehouse. Let's go for the dockyard. Mistrand's a very rich place now. Lest as well is quite rich. Let's go for the herbalist. Because it's two turns and we're probably going to be upgrading this into a city very soon. Which is fantastic. Vilta got the great hall. What were we going to do with Vilta? Hmm. We're going to build the tomb maybe. Let's build the tomb. Uh, Athel here's rest. Got the shrine to heroes. So it's pretty much nearly all Northmen now. Very good. Very, very good. Right, let's get the uh, Thorn Barracks then, because we can probably make this into a good recruitment hub as well, because it's a castle. Varfest got the Avari Barracks. Well, let's take that while we can. Uh, but let's build, say, chicken farming or something. And then Dolgador got the Standing Stones. Let's go straight in with the tomb, of course. And uh, see what we can do. We're at 14% Northman already, which is quite nice for Dolgador. Uh, and it's a good place. Amon Lank, of course, uh, if you want to call it that. Right. Let's uh, get you boys in there. How many more men have we got coming? Got you as well. Well, we'll leave you outside. Uh, in fact, we'll probably send you guys back for retraining. Good job some of the elves survived, huh? And uh, you guys keep coming down, Odegavia. And then we need to keep on retraining as many people as we can. That will have retrained pretty much Norway's whole army. We can't retrain them, of course. But apart from that, it's fine. And then we'll probably be able to make quite a decent army out of all of this. Uh, I just want the good good armor and stuff for these elves up here if we can help it. So it's probably worth getting some of these guys that have been retrained out and we'll swap them over. And I don't know why you would swap around the order, but we'll get those boys in there and then we can uh, get them retrained as quick as possible. There we are. Good. Anything else to do? I don't think so. I hope that they will... Uh, they will sally out of Logoth. I hope they think that they will be strong enough, but I still do doubt it somehow. Ah, there's the castle over there. Dor Naurach. We need to go take that. But we ideally, we just need to connect our lands, really, through southern Mirkwood. I don't care about the Vale of Anduin. I mean, we'd make some good money trading on it, but I don't really want to spread all the way to the Vale of Anduin. I'd rather the Vale, the actual Vale of Anduin own it <laughs> rather than the Vale of Dorwinian. Um, but I would quite like uh, Southern Mirkwood. Okay, this is an interesting little fight. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow. We can't withdraw as well. I mean, we're going to fight this, but... I'm going to say it now. I, I very much doubt that we win. Like, how are we going to beat those great beasts with this army? <laughs> like, we've got a couple of archers. The Rovanian spearmen don't have javis. We've got no javi men. Trolls, Sauron's will, and great beasts. They are just pumping out some of their best units, aren't they? So, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Here we are. Not the most defensible position, but also not too bad either. Oh, Wait, we've got a big hill behind us. Fantastic. A brilliant defensible position. <laughs> We're going to try and keep the men really fat. Like, not the actual men themselves, but their formation really fat. And uh, we'll <laughs> get the archers behind. Problem is, both of those guys have terrible, terrible range. So, shooting the uh, the great beasts and everything is going to be a nightmare. The only thing we can hope is that the great beasts will run amok and kill the trolls. <laughs> That's kind of what we're hoping for right now. Um, you guys should be in... Yeah, not shield wall for you. You guys should both be in the spear wall. Good. Poor Rovanian spearmen, because those trolls are going to be a nightmare for us to deal with. Are we ready to fire yet? Yes, just about. Right then, fire at the trolls. Fire at the trolls. Speed. Put the speed down slightly. 
Honestly, don't care about friendly fire as long as we're firing at the trolls. The trolls are nowhere near as bad as well as the uh, as the great beast. So as soon as they're engaged in the combat, let's get the great beast. How many hit points do the trolls have, by the way? I mean, they've got 30 defense and 5 hit points. <laughs> they've got 150 defense, pretty much. Right, let's uh, fire at the great beast then. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do too well, are we, guys? Great beasts. No more trolls. The trolls can fight it out. Sauron's will going straight into the uh, these boys. Let's get guard mode on. Actually, hopefully they'll be in a good formation for that. Now it's time to get these guys to run them up. Yeah, the poor guys are just absolutely getting savaged by the, uh... I mean, is this their general? The Great Beasts? Because if it is, that's quite good for us because they'll stand out of the battle for a little bit. I don't want to poke them into coming into the battle, though. That's the other thing. But it would be nice if we could kill them, you know? <laughs> there they are. So, obviously, loads of, uh, loads of, uh, loads of firing going into them. Oh, no, now they come. Now, of course, they'll come. Come on, men. Fire. Fire. I don't want... I mean, I can lead the great beasts away. Like this. They've got, they've got javies, though, so that's never good. And they're quite quick. Jesus, how quick are they? Go, go, go. We lost so many men in that. Eight men. These guys, keep them on uh, fire uh, uh, guard mode. Right, get into the archers. I don't want to lose all my archers to their archers, so we will come into the archers. Give them a cheeky little charge. I mean, charging against the rocks never a good idea, but it's fine. Now get out. If we've got the speed, let's have the speed, boys. Let's have the speed. How many trolls? I mean, we killed a singular troll, guys. A singular troll. Well done, guys. A single troll has been killed. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. <sighs> oh, dearie me. This is terrible. I have handled this badly. But also, I don't... It's so... It's not really that winnable, I've got to say. Apparently, we can we can actually fire at the Great Beast again. So, fire at them. Please, guys. We need to kill them. They need to die. How did that go against the Sauron's will? Oh, we... We savage the Sauron's will. Let's go then. Get out. Here come the great beast though. Never a good sign when the great beast are charging you. So let's get out of there. Get away. Come on. Get away. Run, run, run. As the arrows rain down on them. Sauron's will have broken. Awesome. Right. Go fight the Black Oryx. Right, we'll go after the Black Uruk archers again. I think we'll just miss them. So that'll be good. I mean, no way these guys can actually fire at the Great Beast anymore. No, no, don't worry about them. Go, go, go. Just go. Just go for a cheeky little charge. Cheeky little charge. And then let's get out. Problem is these archers are just in the way. Like, fuck off. Move. Get out of the way, man. Trolls down to 10 now. I mean, we do have our general, of course, ready to step in when need be. Oh, but that that might be very soon because... God damn, the Rovanian Riders have gone. They were our chance. They were our chance. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fire at them. Just fire. Point blank range. Point blank range. Right, get in. You need to get in. Rally the men as well before they all start routing. Kill the trolls. You've got really high attack. So kill the trolls. I do love the design of these guys being elves and men. I think it's really cool. Um, but make sure you are firing at them. In fact, get the uh, crossbowmen back over here if you can. And we'll get these guys in to replace them. Not that they're going to do well. But uh, at least the crossbows, we can maybe get them out slightly. And then just, like, start firing at the Great Beasts again. So just get out, my friends. Just don't be in melee. 
Now you're out. Let's start firing again. So who have we got to fight now? Yeah, everyone is routing. This is this is bad. This is really bad. I mean, we killed a few trolls. Oh, the Rovanian riders are back. Good, 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 good. Right. Uh, do I care about those? No, probably more about getting the Black Oryx out of this fight. The scouts are really not, not something to worry about. Guys, come on, fire! Goddamn, halt, and then the fire! Fire! Fire, don't, no fire at will. You're going to fire at the Great Beast, my friend. That's what you're going to do. Right, Ravanians. Straight back into the Orc Scouts. Our general is fighting valiantly, but dying valiantly as well, it seems. Come on, in there. In there. It's so hard to charge them when they're in that shitty formation as well. God damn. Come on. Are you even firing? Guys, what are you doing? You're just standing there and just dying. Fire, you imbeciles. You absolute cretinous idiots. Fire. Are you going to fire? Oh, wow. Well done. Great. Great. Right, back in there. The trolls are nearly dead now, though. That's one good thing. Not that that really matters right now. The only thing that can save us if the Great Beasts go ma mad, but they're not going to. Uh, so, ideally, this would have been a lot better on a bridge battle, you know? <laughs> Especially if the Great Beast went, went amok then. Uh, right, Black Orcs, they're wavering. So let's go for them. Let's go, 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 go. This isn't the best cavalry unit either. It's not like an amazing cavalry unit. So, I mean, that charge was absolutely trash. So, not going to do much, is it? Come on, General. You must slay the last couple of trolls. I have faith in you, my friend. Right. Uh, what? Oh, they're, 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 they're running. They're running. They're running. Ah, god damn. That's it. That's probably going to be it. He got stamped by a troll. Uh, so, yeah, I doubt, you know, we're going to survive any more of this. Uh, we got these two units, though. Well, these one unit. Now everyone's routing. <laughs> everyone's gone. No! It was a bitter pill to swallow. I mean, I didn't think we were going to win anyway. I mean, we didn't even kill a singular great beast. We killed all the trolls, though. So, yeah, we lost a thousand, uh, but we killed high value targets apart from any of the great bees. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys, and for some reason we're all the way down here. So, do we want to accept that? I think we will accept the ransom. We'll go Varfest. Oh, to Story, they actually have m managed to get a few men. They've only got a singular ram, though, again. What do they have? I mean, these two units are trash, but the Mirkwood Oryx are going to be uh, a struggle. So, let's do the do the fight. We'll just, do again, do it on time 6 speed as a grind fight. Uh, but we shall see how we go. Here we are. Sound the advance, apparently. I mean, I don't want to sound any advance. What I want to do is shoot these guys to death uh, from up here. So... Let's get the archers there. In fact, maybe even more over this way so they can fire over. And ideally, I kind of want to... Well, we'll do it when we when it gets in. Kind of want to leave a bit of an avenue open for them there so they can fire directly into them. Apparently, they can already fire as well. Archers in a siege, siege defense are just unbelievably good. I mean, don't fire at them. Fire, fire at the Mirkwood Oryx. Not the goddamn Mirkwood Goblins, because they're useless. The enemy are battering down they're battering our down our gates. I mean, we've nearly used half of our ammo already. <laughs> wow. Look at the arrows rain down on them. Well, that's good at least, though. The enemy have the I don't want you to fire up. Fire right in the side of them. Please don't fire up like that. Some quite good firing there. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. And this is just the grind. Now it's just the grind. And there's some guys shaking in there. So 
I guess this will really depend on the, the general again. Right, you guys now go to surround them. I mean, we can bring our general here. I mean, we could go and flank. Let's try it. Might as well try something. Get you off that. I mean, these guys aren't exactly a, a high-impact unit, are they, when they go flanking? <laughs> but uh, at least it might make their, you know, morale go down a little bit from the surrounding. And it also stops these Mirkwood Hunters and, and uh, Javelin men from firing anymore. So, it's just a grind, but let's go in. We'll rally the men and charge in. We'll go like this first, though, so that our general is on the other side. There he is. There he goes. Right, good. Rally the men! Rally the men! They're all, they're all kind of scared. The Mirkwood Oryx down to 35 men, so if we can get rid of those, we'll be good. And we need to kill the general... How close are we? I mean, we killed a lot more than we've uh, we've lost, but that doesn't mean that much, really. Come on, boys. Get in the fight. And now they're just fighting, like, the goblin stalkers and stuff. Good. That'll be it. That's it. That's what we like to see. Surely they're going to start breaking now. Rally. Come on, man. Defeat seems certain. Come on. We're only fighting goblin stalkers. Only half, our force remains. only half, like less than half their force remains. Come on, these guys are better than the... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Go, 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 go. Got broken, guys. What do you mean, pray something changes? We're winning, bro. Oh, good. Kill them all. Quick, quick, quick. Kill them all. Kill them all! I don't know why they didn't decide to run after them, and they ran this way. <laughs> right, well, good battle. Finally, we, we got a nice little defense there. Good, good. I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And, of course, let's execute them. And they did decide to try and seize down Dolgador. Thank you. I love to see that, because it's so <laughs> it was so nice to defend. We'll absolutely shred them once again with our archers. I can't wait. That'll be absolutely lovely. Simply lovely. Simply beautiful. Simply fantastic. But anyway. Um, Care Andros has now fallen. So Mordor is really kind of focusing on that region. There's Dantalad. They've also got that stupid little settlement in here somewhere over there. Oh, yeah, we know where that one is. Uh, so I guess we know Dantalad and this one now. Let's come back up. There's one here, uh, which we should be able to see. Yeah, Achnod, Achnod Yawn. And let's go up to the Vale of Anduin, see what we can get. I, I don't know whether we do already have sort of a uh, alliance with them or anything, but whatever, it'd be good. Get okay, you. Avalyn's Rest, we got some more of Ari. So let's get all them through. You guys go back for tree training. Let's get you up here. Nice. You guys keep coming. And then once they're all together, once we get a bit of a general, we need still need a general. And he's coming. He's just going to take a while to get there. Then we, we shall set off with the like kind of one and a half armies probably. Maybe two armies. I mean, Enma half, not at any risk. So let's just get the Thorn Barracks. Uh, Rhubar got the ships and you are upgrading good. Again, we have no money. Lest is now ready to upgrade. Fantastic. So cue that in. Uh, faction announcements. Oh, we've got Thrain who came of age as well. Good. He can be the next army. Loads of people. Thrain. Uh, it's just mainly Thrain to be fair. I do like that name though. Very good name. The good name of Thrain. Get those boys all retrained. And then we should be ready for Norway to head out once again. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. I mean, if they're not going to sally out, we will just siege them down and, and let them die to attrition. Because I ain't, I ain't going into a city full of trolls and everything. <laughs> that would be stupid. How are we looking for Northmen? 24%. I think we need... A couple more before we can start, you know, re uh, retrain another 
one of these. In fact, what we'll do is we will uh, train that just for now and send them to Tustore just to uh, garrison that a little bit stronger, a little bit harder. Right, well, Vine Regent Harwin, where do we want to go? We want to go to this one, whichever this one's called, Dorlingvar. Connect our lands, then probably go straight up to Austin Gale and maybe this one as well. And then we'll come back round and maybe go Aknod Yorn and down this way south. Hopefully by that point, Norway will be towards the Black Gate, having a bit of fun. Uh, and you need to get back into Varfest. Let's also retrain everyone we can. I'm probably going to put the retrains in first because they will be done. And we'll put the, uh, the two turn guys at the end. Uh, yeah, retrain those, and then we'll also get a couple of Avari in there as well. How's Mornithel looking? Have we got anyone we can recruit in Mornithel? No. About Strondost, actually an Avari Naharim. Actually, I think the Norwinian infantry are worth training when you can train them. How about Avalyn's Rest? I mean, we need to retrain men there anyway. So, yeah, it's fine. Right, let's end the turn then, and let's see what happens. So like I say, we'll probably only go to episode 30, guys, no matter really where we're at. I mean, we've pretty much won the campaign. Uh, and at this point, uh, there's not that a huge amount of point going on past episode 30 if we've taken Baradur and all that sort of thing. So I will still try and get take Baradur in that time, of course. And I think we've got the armies to do it. Uh, just not as many elves as we might have wanted in those armies. More men armies in the south. But it's fine. It's not too bad. Where are you going, Mordor? You are coming to try and siege down Varfest, but you ain't getting it, my friend. You ain't getting it. We're going to win. We will win. We'll beat you. We will beat you. Very good. Um, but then the Dark Lord. Short turn for the Dark Lord, I've got to say. Oh, yeah, we also did get that, that, that guy. So, oh, you have gone into there. Rioting in Tusture. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, and we'll send the archers and one of those boys down. Would be nice if we could train one of those. But we can't. Now, where did that other general go? Was it Karasant? No. So, Santanwi has got Harwood now as well. Uh, we've also got that other general. Where did that other... Oh, it was... Because we need to send one down here, don't we? I mean, we've got one coming, but it's not exactly amazing. Just having one. I'd prefer to have two. So, yeah, fine. He is coming, Odegavia. He's just a bit of a slug. Where, where did that other general go then? Because I swear... I swear we did get another general. Was it Farfest? No. Thorfalu, Austin Eri. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Where'd he go? Carverad? Yeah, he did go Carverad. Well, where do we not have a general? I mean, Rawberg we do, which is surprising. Let's get one in Tustore. I mean, it's a town. Um, It's under attack a lot. Might as well have a general in there just to keep uh, keep everyone happy. Karasamp, we got some more elves. Good. Get the Dorwinian infantry, like I say, when we can, because they're fine. They're not too bad. Yeah, we did recruit all those boys in Beralga. Avalyn's Rest. We got some more men as well. While we're here, let's get another merchant. Just for a bit of bants. And yeah, so Karasan, we got more elves, which is glorious. Glorious elves. Right. We are at the point now where Norway can leave. So... Let's get you up there. What do we have in here? We've got these boys, so let's get Norway the Great. What a man. Or elf, should I say. What an elf. What a glorious elf. Uh, do we have any other archers? That's the one issue here. Massive lack of archers, isn't there? Oh, which is a bit annoying, to say the least. I wish we just had a, a basic archer unit that wasn't, like, militia level. And, of course, you know, the, the uh, what do you call them? The, the crossbowmen, they, they are not that, because the crossbows are not archers. Crossbows are just worse than archers in general, because of the, how slow they are at reloading. 
I wish we just had just a generic archer unit. Not one of these rangers, the Avari shadows that we have to get. Um, so, yeah. Bit annoying. Well, I think we'll wait one more. I mean, oh, it's going to take you, though, two turns to get there, isn't it? Well, we can... I tell you what, we'll set off with one slot less than normal. And we'll get the spearmen in there that we can. So, spearmen. Another spearmen. And then we'll probably go for the Bladesman. Only one unit of Bladesman, maybe? Yeah, probably only one unit of Bladesman. Get in there. Then let's go for potentially a couple of these boys. One that's not being retrained. Then we'll get a couple of the Swordsmen. We'll also get the Privateer Axemen in here as well. We've got eight slots left. So let's go for a couple of the Amonyar... Not Amanya, they're the uh, the the other ones. I always say that. Then we'll have five, so let's get the Avari Naharim and the Avari Naharim from here. And then, perfect, we've got enough for this cavalry as well. Good. Glorious. And we still got two cavalry ready to go. And like I say, we'll keep a general here because we're going to have another army at some point, aren't we? Uh, so, Norway, it is time to go for the Black Gate. Let's break down that gate. Thrain, you're going up there. You're going there. We're still under siege. It's a, le a lot of turns to uh, siege down Dolgador, so I'm not really very worried. Vine Regent Harwin. Let's get a watchtower. You can see a little bit more. Good. I think we're we're in a decent spot, really, aren't we? Not in a bad spot at all. How long before these guys can get retrained? Probably a long time. <laughs> Unfortunately, but oh well. Uh, Odegavia's come in, and we are we do have a pretty fat army over here now, or at least, you know, one that's reasonably big. Fighting Olakai is still going to be scary without a lot of elves, but we're going to have to try and do it, right? Let's do our building. Karasant is. Building now again. Good. Santan we Let's go for... I mean, there's nothing in here that's really... I mean, actually, building browser. If we go to cultural buildings. Doesn't the hero shrine? Yeah, the hero shrine actually gives melee bonus. So we should have built that a long time ago. Um, rather than uh, ignoring it. Uh, Strondos got the mining network now. Good. I mean, Strondos very rich now, even for a, for a castle that's one of our main producing places. Carverad, let's go for the sheep farming. Uh, Mornathel, oh, fantastic. Moriquendis everywhere. Let's go. Straight in there, my friends. Straight in there. You both take two turns. Let's get the Darwinian infantry as well, and you. Well, some more Moriquendis out on the field. Who doesn't love the Moriquendis? They are fantastic. Let's go for the sheep farming there at Elgaia. Lest is upgrading. Good. Austin Eri got the herbalist. Let's go for the tomb at Austin Eri. And Ather here's rest got the thorn barracks. So let's go for the thorn armory. Anyone to retrain here? I mean, apparently everyone. <laughs> That's not too bad, though. Varfest got the chicken farming. So let's go for the cheap sheep farming. And uh, Anyone else to retrain? It looks like it, but we can't right now. So I think we'll get two more crossbowmen. That's fine. We are the most advanced faction. Good. I mean, we should be. And we're, we're up there in a lot of things. Military, not so much. But, yeah, financial, we should. like. I think we're number one. And, and we should be, really, shouldn't we? We're making an absolute ton of money. Right, let's press the end turn, guys, one more time, and let's uh, see what happens. Got the spy coming up, got the diplomat going around, having a look. There's Rosgabel. Come on, Vale of Anduin, do something, man. <laughs> I'm holding all the cards here, my friend. I'm holding the fort, should I say. I'm holding the fort. Um, <laughs> you're, you're literally doing fuck all, man. You're just dying. We need, We need you to win, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think the Gundabad Orcs are a bit screwed, but I think the Vale of Anduin's pretty screwed as well. I mean, the, the, the Orcs of Moria 
Okay, they've gone for the attack. Fair play. I respect that. They got cell swords and everything. Nice. We've got, of course, two generals now. We've got defenders as well, which we'll try not to use to start with. We'll actually try and get them killed towards the end so that they can replenish our other units. But this should be quite a fun little battle anyway. A fun defense at Dolgador again. But we'll leave that for next time, guys. So if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. And I will see you all again on the next video.